hello guys welcome back to the channel today we will be going through i uh, sorry this uh, cambridge lower secondary checkpoint uh, october 2023 paper 1 so this is the latest paper uh, so the first question that we have here the area of cross section of a prism is 10 cm square the length of the prism is 4 cm calculate the volume first thing that you need to know and need to do is underline the keywords right wherever you see so you don't miss any information the area of cross section first of all you need to know what is cross section so cross section is this part like two parallel faces like this is pentagon and you have the another one here okay so these are the cross sections and the line joining these two cross section is called the length of the prism which is 4 cm. So, volume of the prism we have the formula volume of prism is area of cross section area of cross section times the length. This is the formula area of cross section we are given uh, 10 and length is 4. So, 10 times 4 it is 40. So, 40 cm cubed is the final answer right. Now, number 2, draw a ring around the scatter diagraph, uh, scatter graph that shows positive correlation. So, positive correlation is this is constant here, no correlation. This is going upward, so this is positive. This is scattered, no correlation. This is going downward, this is negative. So, this one we need to put a ring. It say put a ring. So, we need to draw a ring around that graph, right? So, this is positive. Now, number 3, we have a write each of these expressions in the correct column in the table. So, we have table here uh, equivalent to the natural number and not equivalent to a natural number. So, this one is 4, 4 times 3. Uh, so, 4 power 3, 4 times 4 times 4 is 64 so this is natural number and this is going to be when you do this negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 this and this is positive 2 times 2 4 times 2 8 negative 16 so negative 16 this is not equivalent to neg uh, natural number because natural numbers are all positive so negative 16 this will come here in this side right then negative 8 cube root cube root of negative 8 is negative 2 this is also going to be here remember that you are going to write down the original one not the calculation so this one here is negative 5 times negative 5 it is 25 so uh, sorry see ma'am you are going to make same mistake negative 5 square the original uh, number whatever you had right now number four complete each statement using one of these symbols so uh, we have less than or greater than so one has been done for you meaning like this first one is done here so 20 divided by one and a half it's less than 20 so this is 20 times 3 over 4. So, if you see 4, 4 times 5 is 20. So, 5 times 3 it is 15. So, 15 is less than 20. So, this is going to be less than. And this one here 20 times 5 times 2 10 times 11. You see we are multiplying it by a greater number. So, 20 it is obviously going to be greater. So, there is no need to do all the calculations. You can just use the basic knowledge now this 20 20 is divided by 1 over 5 so meaning 20 times it's 5 over 1 so if you take the reciprocal so 20 times 5 is 100 it's obviously greater than 20 right now solve 36 over t equals to 4 so 36 uh, this is 4 over 1 now you cross multiply so this will become t times 4 is 40 equals to 36 now divide by 4 on both sides so you have 4 t is equal to 9 4 times 9 is 36 so value of t is 9 right now question number 6 calculate 1 minus 9 over 8 minus half in bracket 
uh, we will do step by step in brackets first we are going to solve in bracket so lcm is 8 so we can make this times 4 times 4 uh, to 2 to make the denominator same so this is 9 minus 4 so this is 1 minus 9 minus 5 is 4 over uh, 9 minus 4 is 5 over 8 again we can take lcm lcm is 8 so this is going to be times 8 times 8, 8. this is 8 minus 5 that is 3 over 8 so 3 over 8 we will write in the answer column right now draw a ring around the statement that is true so we will see you don't need actual calculations because this is paper 1 and you will not have calculator in that so here is 3 and 4 and square root 7 is in between somewhere uh, draw a ring around the statement that is true so that means if this is if I make it uh, square root this 3 is square root of 9 this 4 is square root of 16 right so it's in the middle 9 and 16 square root so uh, this one is less and this one is uh, negative or the other way we can make the square root uh, square of both so this will become 9 less than 7 because this square root will cancel the square and 4 so 9 is less than 7 so that means this is not the one that we are looking for this is not true again we will make square root of these uh, so this is 16 is less than 18 is less than 25 so this is true so we will put here uh, the ring now this one is again let us make the square this is 25 is less than 36 is less than 36 which is not true uh, this one is 6 times 6 36 less than 50 less than 49 50 is not less than 49 so only answer is this one here okay now number 8 Jamila works out an estimate of 104.37 times 0 0.615 uh, complete the statement to show how it work out better estimate of uh, the calculation if we take this estimation 100 we are and taking this one uh, so this is uh, actually too far so we can just make it like 104 times you can have this is 0 0.6 so when you multiply there uh, 6 times 4 is 24 6 times 1 is 6 so one decimal place you can have 62.4 you may have another answer you can try that one uh, a team I can either win lose or draw a game of softball uh, the table shows the probability that the team will win or lose the game so this one is empty complete the table so now we know that the sum of the probability is always 1 so 0 0.5 plus 0 0.4 plus let's say this is x is equal to 1 so this is 0 0.9 plus x is 1 so x is 0. Point, uh, sorry 1 this 1 minus 0 0.9 that is 0 0.1 so this will be 0 0.1 right question number 10 each diagram shows a pair of angles on parallel line we have this diagram a b c and d uh, complete the table to show if each diagram shows a pair of corresponding angles or not this is corresponding angle this is not one has been done for you a a is not a corresponding angle this diagram is done here b now see this is z shape here when you see z shape like this these angles are called alternate angles not corresponding so b will also come here not corresponding angles now if you see f shape that is the uh, corresponding angle so they are down here so c will come here even here we have this f shape and both angles are like this here on above the line so c and d will come over here right now write 7 point uh, 7 uh, millions in standard form so uh, decimal is here so we are counting decimal up to 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to here 7.0 times 10 raised to power 6 7 times 10 raised to power 6 right write down these numbers in order of 
the size starting with the smallest so all these are different so we have to do a little calculation here so this is 55 then there are four zeros one two three four so one decimal is here so one zero will be cancelled so 55,000 uh, this is 6.4 times 10 raised to power 1 so times 1 over 10 actually meaning times uh, 0 0.1 so this will become 0 0.64 and this is 55 uh, 5.5 times again this is 0 0.1 so it will make it 0 0.55 so the biggest one is here here this one so 5.5 into 10 raised to power 4 and the smallest one is this here 0 0.55 the original one is 5.5 10 raised to power minus 1 and this will come in the middle 6.4 times 10 raised to power minus 1 okay so here is a quick question uh, five quadrilaterals are shown on the grid you can see the quadrilaterals here quadrilateral p is transformed by reflection followed by a translation this is a reflected followed by translation draw a ring around the unshaded quadrilateral that is not a possible it's a not a possible image of quadrilateral p so if you look carefully all these four shapes have same size this is the one which is uh, different which is enlarged so this cannot be the answer for this one which is not uh, the possible image right this is one mark question very simple question here now number 13 uh, tick to show each fraction that is equivalent to recurring decimal so 0 0.6 and 6 over 8 4 over uh, 12 so recurring are the ones that continuously goes like 1 6 if i put here decimal so 6 times 1 4 0 6 times 5 is 30 6 times 6 is 36 Four zero six times 6 is 36 so it will continuously repeat like this right so that means this is a recurring decimal 6 over 8 we can see uh, 2 times 3 2 times 4 3 divided by 4 3 divided by 4 0 28 2 4 times 5 so this is terminated so this is not the answer now this is 1 over 3 again 1 divided by 3 is going to give you 0 0.33 this is like this we are going to get again and again the same thing so this is recurring decimal right so now n n is an integer where 0 less than n less than 15 uh, n over 15 is equivalent to a terminating decimal draw a ring around a number of, of all possible values of n so uh, uh, first one is 0 0 over 15 is 0 so this is terminating uh, 1 over 15 1 over 15 we will see like here 15 times 6 is 90 106 so it will continue so this is not the case again you can check these are also not the terminating decimal so the only answer is going to be here uh, 0 okay now the next one here uh, we have the table shows uh, some powers of 7 and their final digit so, power of 7 value final digit final digit means digit at one's place 7931 here we have written uh, the part a the final digit of 7 power n is 1 write down the possible value of n greater than 7 greater than 7 is going to be then 8 you see the pattern here is how it is following 7931 7931 or you can say 17 it's coming like this 7931 7931 so next one is going to be like he said the answer is 1 right so here the last uh, next digit is going to be 1 the last digit so n can be 8 greater than 7 right so by looking at this pattern now use pattern in the table to find the value of final digit of 7 power 22 so let's just make this uh, here the pattern first digit we are getting 7 9 3 and 1 right so 7 when we got the power is uh, 
पावर्स ऑफ सेवन आर वन देन टू थ्री फोर देन विल बी फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन एटीन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी then 21 22 23 and 24 we are looking for 7 power 22 which is here so the digit is going to be 9 right now calculate 6 times 1.8 so you see if this is negative this is negative it will cancel 6 times 18 over i will write here 10 to remove the decimal and 2 is already there to remove this 10 Uh, decimal we will put 10 up there so 10 and 10 get cancelled 2 times 3 18 times 3 is 54 so 54 is the final answer okay yeah i think that's it for this uh, video on uh, this paper remaining question we are going to do in the next video thank you so much guys for watching if you are getting benefit of this please write in the comment section i will wait for your feedback and share it with your friends and please subscribe to the channel god bless you guys